ready to stop just building apps and starting creating experiences. If your Flutter animations feel a bit clunky or too basic, then this video is for you. Today, I'll show you how to go from janky transitions to smooth cinematic motions using the Flutter animation controller. By the end, you will know how to choreograph your UI so your users don't just use your app, they feel it. Here's the plan. First, I'll show you what bad animation look like and why it happens. Then we will try to fix it using basic animated widgets and see where it falls apart. And finally, we will use the animation controller to make everything flow like a well choreographed dance. We have all seen this at some point of time. You tap on a button and boom, everything changes at once. The shape morphs, the color jumps, the icon appears a bit late. It just feels off, right? Now, technically, this works, but it doesn't flow. The reason? Every part of the animation has its own timing, own curve and they are not talking to each other. So instead of a smooth story, you get chaos. Alright, what if we use widgets like animated container or animated opacity? They sound easy, right? Just change a value and Flutter handles the animation for you. Let's try this manually. For example, I have opened my code editor and here first let's create a stateful widget as uh, let's say manual sync screen then come inside the state widget and here create two variable because right now we are using the animated container and animated opacity so we will create two boolean variable one as moved for animated container and one is visible for that animated opacity right now so now here we will create a method as animate so this function will be used to animating these components right now here what we will do we will flip the moved value okay so here add the set state and flip this moved value by adding a not sign right now here what i want that the fade animation with the movement animation should happen right so here we will add the future delayed okay now inside it we will add the duration like uh, how much should be the duration for the animation so here add the duration class and then for its time here add the milliseconds value as 300 so this will uh, change the value after 300 milliseconds then inside it after the duration we need to give it a function so the function will execute after this time okay so here add the function and then here again add the set state and flip the value of visible okay now it's fine now come inside the build method and here first add the app bar let's say manual sync attempt then inside the body here add a center widget now here add the gesture detector and while user will tap onto this we will call our animate method so here for on tap pass the animate now for child here add the stack widget and then for its alignment add the center alignment then for its children, first here add the animated container. Okay. Now for duration, here pass the duration as 600 millisecond. And for curve, here add the curve value as is in out. Then for margin, here add the margin from the left side. So here we will add a check, right? So like uh, when the moved value is true, we will add the margin of 120 from the left. And if its value is false, then we will add the margin value as 0. Then here add the height and width of 120. And then for decoration, just add the color as steel. And add the border radius as 16. Okay, now our animated container part is done. So now what will happen? Now if I save this code and run the application, then you can see when I'm tapping onto this container, right? then this mode value is getting flipped so that when i tapped onto this then our container is moving towards the right side because the margin is increased from the left side okay so that was the basic idea of moving this container now let's add the animated opacity thing so here add the animated opacity widget then again for its duration add the duration as let's say 400 millisecond and then for curve here add the curves dot ease out then for its opacity just to say that if it's visible then opacity will be one otherwise zero okay so like if visible value is true then our text will be visible and if it's false then our text won't be visible 
then for its child just simply add a text widget which will say hello animation and then for style add the text style add the font size as 26 and add the color as white now let's save the code and run the application so now if you see i tap onto the container then animation thing is happening and it's working right but it's not look good so here's how most of us try to handle multiple animations we animate one widget then add a delay for the other looks okay right but the timing is never perfect one run faster the other lags behind and it just fails off instead of juggling delays let's control both with the one timeline using the animation controller and boom everything moves in a perfect sync so let's fix this by adding the animation controller in our current widget so when we are adding animation controller first what we need to do we need to extend our current state class with single ticker provider state mixin so let's do that so here add the with keyword then here add the single ticker provider state mixin now we need to create few variables for that first let's create uh, animation controller so here add the late final animation controller and then controller then we will create two other variables for uh, handling move animation and fade animation so again just copy the above code right and then here remove the animation control and here add the animation then type of this will be double so here add the double then name this as move animation then again copy the this line of code and here rename the variable to fade animation and then create this is forward variable to false i'll tell you in future that what is the use of this variable now here remove this animate method and come inside this init method and here first we need to initialize our controller okay so here add the controller then add the animation controller then for vsync we need to add this so this is the required parameter and this this is coming from the single ticker state provider mixin okay now for duration we need to add the duration for our animation so here add the duration as 800 millisecond okay now now we need to define all these two animation using the same controller but different intervals so what we can do here we can add this move animation variable then here add the curved animation and then for its parent add the controller and for its curve add the interval 0 0.0 0 0.6 and add the curve as is and out okay now just bear with me for a minute i'll explain everything here now just copy the above this move animation thing and add it one more time and now just rename the variable to fade animation and change the value of interval from 0 0.4 to 1.0 and add the curve to is in now if you notice then you can see this moved animation and this fade animation they are both getting controlled by this parent controller okay now here we need to handle a case that if screen is get closed then we need to dispose this controller right so it won't take much space so here add the dispose method and inside it just dispose the controller by adding the controller dot dispose now we need to toggle our animation like uh, if animation is moving in forward direction or backward direction so here create a method as toggle animation and then here add a check like if it's forward then add the controller dot reverse so it will reverse the animation like uh, our initial animation is working from left to right then what it will do it will move the animation from right to left in opposite direction so that's what the idea now add the else condition and if is forward value is false then add the controller dot forward now come inside the build method and here everything is going to be same just do one thing remove this child section of gesture detector and here add the animated builder right and now here we need to add the animation property so add the animation and then assign our controller then uh, add the builder because we need a builder because it's animated builder so here add the builder then it need context so provide that and we don't need the other variable so here you can add the underscore then from here return the stack widget and again make the alignment at center then for is child like for that uh, box movement here add the transform dot translate okay now here add the offset value so here add offset 
लेट्स से आर वन फिफ्टी ओके सो हियर मेड वन फिफ्टी मल्टीप्लाई बाय मूव एनिमेशन डॉट वैल्यू टू जीरो देन फॉर चाइल्ड हियर जस्ट एट द सिंपली कंटेनर थिंग लाइक एट द कंटेनर एट द हाइट एंड विथ एज वन ट्वेंटी देन फॉर डेकोरेशन एट द सेम डेकोरेशन विच वी है एड प्रीवियसली लाइक कलर एज स्टील एंड बॉर्डर रेडियस टू सिक्सटीन देन कम आउटसाइड ऑफ दिस ट्रांसफॉर्म डॉट ट्रांसलेट एंड हियर एट द ओपेसिटी विजिट and then for opacity here add the fade animation dot value and then for its child simply paste the same child with say hello and textile is 26 and color is white now let's save the code and run the application now if you can see then if i'm tapping onto this container then it's moving a perfectly smooth way but our text is not visible so um, let's do one thing change the color to black rather than white Now if I tap up here then you can see this animation is happening so smooth so this is what I wanted to convey to you like how you can control your animation thing using the animation controller rather than making each widget as individual and then handling them individually so yeah that's it for this video if you like this video then please hit a like button and if you loving our widget wisdom video then please do subscribe to this channel